Hello and welcome back. The last few videos that we have posted, we have talked a little bit about what to expect in the therapeutic process. Uh, this has taken form from what to expect in an initial assessment, maybe some frequently asked questions, and today I'd like to cover a little bit about what to expect if we feel like we are going crazy. How might my therapist respond to this? As a therapist, it is quite common for a client to come into session and maybe not know exactly what they're going to say, but to indicate that they feel like they're going crazy. They may not have an idea of how to explain this, but they just know that something is off or something is amiss. So what does it actually mean when I feel like I'm going crazy? What are clients actually saying? Well, really, there's a lot of things that they're saying. The way that I interpret this initially, because then we continue to assess, is generally this sounds like an anxiety disorder. When clients come in and they indicate that they are going crazy, it's because they usually feel off or they don't have words to express what it is that they actually are feeling. They oftentimes refer to themselves as having a mental breakdown or a meltdown. Keep in mind that none of these things are actual clinical terms that we use in therapy. What this does look like are symptoms of anxiety. So let's review a couple of things. Anxiety often feels like an increased heart rate, a tight chest, or uh, perhaps feeling like there's a pit in your stomach. Anxiety also feels like being on edge or feeling very tense. Muscles may be tight. Headache and shoulders are oftentimes other areas that I see with lots of tenseness or distress uh, when folks feel like they are going crazy. The other thing that I notice when folks say that they are going crazy is an inadequacy to verbalize what it is that they're actually trying to say. If we keep in mind the criteria for anxiety, it is often intrusive, unwanted thoughts that we don't really have an ability to control. They just go and go and go. And it may feel like we start projects or stop projects or I think about one thing but jump to another. All of this makes it very difficult to strategize, to focus, and to lay out a plan. Anxiety very much affects cognition as well as physical sensation. So what can we expect in therapy when we walk in and we talk about what is going on because I feel like I'm going crazy? Usually one of the best things to do that I have found in my practice is a little bit of validation, letting clients know that they are not actually going crazy. We know what this is. This is generally an anxiety. Now, as the assessment progresses, it may turn into something different if we find other criteria such as nightmares or flashbacks or avoidance of specific areas or people. It may be better accounted for by a diagnosis of PTSD. But in general, we start with anxiety. You're not actually going crazy. We know what this is. So we provide a little bit of validation we provide a little bit of education, and then we begin the treatment process. This can look like anything from behavioral interventions, cognitive interventions, and maybe even a referral to medication management. Keep in mind that the therapist's goal is to help you manage this more effectively rather than throw you into the psych ward, uh, as is often mentioned in therapy. If I'm going crazy, I'm going to land in the psych ward. <clears throat> we will utilize all of the skills in our toolbox and give you those skills to help decrease all of these physical and cognitive difficulties so that we can function better. So just keep in mind that if you come to therapy and it feels as though you are going crazy, you're probably not. This is something that we understand and we have a skill set to manage. A little bit of validation and a little bit of education goes a long way so that you know what is going on and know what plan of attack to take in order to manage these symptoms more effectively. A couple of things worth noting might include if we feel physically uncomfortable, 
we might find ourselves feeling extremely irritable, maybe short-tempered with those around us, coworkers, colleagues, loved ones, family members or friends. We also might find ourselves crying out of the blue for seemingly no reason at all. This is pretty common when we feel like we are going crazy. From a cognitive standpoint, we feel like we are going crazy when we can't perform the things that we normally can perform. I'm not focusing well. I'm not completing tasks at work. I'm not there for my child or for my spouse or any of my friends. I have a hard time paying attention or being grounded and engaged. All of these things make us feel like we are going crazy. Often one of the first lines of defense when we feel this way is to become extra controlling of our environment around us as well as ourselves. This is a good indicator that it's time to seek treatment. Thank you for swinging by. Keep in mind, you're not going crazy. We know what this is. Let's do an assessment, figure out what exactly is going on, and develop a treatment plan that might help so that we don't feel like we are going crazy any longer. Thanks for swinging by and have a great day. We'll see you next time.